This is my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. And this is my Bamboo Lab P1S. Now, the P1S is brand new. Just released two, three weeks ago, maybe. Obviously, it's built on the P1P series, which is built on the X1 series. Just a torn down version of the X1 with not a lot of the extra bells and whistles. Now, there's a lot of differences that are really obvious between the models. They've been discussed a lot. P1P versus X1C. Which one should you get? You can find those videos all over YouTube. And, you know, what it really came down to for most people was the X1C is enclosed and the P1P wasn't. But now we have the P1S and it is enclosed. And the P1S is available at the same price that the P1P was available at. So, is the X1C still worth the extra $600? I think so, but not for everybody. I'm going to get into that right now. Not by discussing the really obvious differences that have already been talked about by everyone, but for less obvious issues that I really think give the X1C an edge. Let's get into it. Let's start by talking about the camera. Now, the P1P was, had a camera available. The P1S had a camera of it, has a camera available. In fact, it comes standard with a camera. And the X1C obviously comes standard with a camera, but there is a difference. And it might not be important to everyone, but here's why it's important to me. With the X1C, we've got a beautiful camera. When I log in to use the camera, it opens up almost immediately and displays a very smooth image of the head moving back and forth. The P1S is different. In order to save money, they put in a low frame rate camera. And this seems to have a few different issues. Number one is it actually takes a bit of time to even connect to the camera, which I don't quite understand why. But the other issue is that it only has a few frames every second. So the head appears to be stuttering all over the screen. Now, that might not be a big issue for everyone, but personally, I like to actually see exactly what my machine is doing. So having the better camera is great for me. Now, the X1C also has a lot of extra sensory stuff. Everybody knows that they stripped the LiDAR out of the P1 series. Huge cost savings there. But do you know what else you lost when you lost those extra senses? You lost spaghetti detection, along with any future AI detection that Bamboo might incorporate into their machine. You also lose build plate localization, which is a really cool feature the machine has. Once or twice, I have loaded the incorrect build plate. I wanted a PI textured plate, but I loaded the cool plate. Or one time, I even forgot to load the build plate altogether. The X1C knew it was wrong and alerted me about it. Very cool feature. Really helps when you're constantly tired and making tiny little mistakes like that. Very useful to have in my opinion, but maybe not for everyone. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to talk about any of the obvious differences between the two machines, but I really want to touch on the screen. You know, with the bamboo, you get to use your computer, your phone to control it. You shouldn't really have to use the screen. So for a lot of people, it doesn't matter that the P1 screen is not a touch screen, that it's black and white, and that the user interface is terrible. By the way, a lot of people say it's terrible. I don't really think it's that bad. Maybe a bit lacking, but not terrible. The X1C screen is beautiful. Touch screen, full color, 720p display, gorgeous interface. But for me, the one thing that's really important about it is I can actually see an image of the model I'm about to print from the print cache. Very handy when trying to go back and print something that you've printed before without needing to go dig through your computer or your phone to find it just a really cool feature in my opinion. Additionally, I really like the ability to come up and do 
all of the calibration, testing, loading and stuff really easily and quickly and intuitively from the screen. Super handy from my point of view. And there you have it. Four differences between the X1C and the P1S. You've got the camera, print failure detection, build plate localization, and again, I'm sorry for covering an obvious feature, but the really nice screen. Now, the X1C actually has additional features that the P1S doesn't have, such as a door sensor, which I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what the door sensor is doing. I doesn't seem to do anything from my point of view. It also has, you know, aluminum siding versus plastic, but those aren't really a big deal to me. So I've given you the four things that are a big deal and the four reasons why I think the X1C is worth the increased price. If you agree with this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you disagree, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. If you like this content and want more, I'd really appreciate you subscribing. And go ahead and leave a comment telling me what you think and what you'd like to see in future videos. Have a great day. See ya.